Hundreds of anti-refugee protesters have rallied against the impending arrival of migrants in a small Dutch town. Protesters carried placards with messages including, you will never fit here and no refugees. But the demonstrators may get a visit from the Dutch police who are now monitoring the social networks. They're looking for posts like these, calling for people to come out and protest against the government. Now, many of those already on the police radar are from the town of Kartsuvel, where locals say the government's increased the number of refugees it's having to accept without notice. We contacted some of the people who'd been asked by the police to delete their social media posts. On the Sunday, I was not at home. I get the police uh, visit. My wife uh, did the door open and they asked uh, uh, where I was. My Laughing, open the door. I say, oh, what you want? It's nothing wrong. No, but you must uh, don't read, uh, write uh, things about refugees. And but I laughing and close the door. The police came to me and asked me if I want uh, to take it off of Facebook. Well, police say it's not standard procedure, but they do monitor social media to check the intentions of people behind such posts. But that has infuriated internet campaigners. I uh, get a police uh, visit because I placed on Facebook reactions like it's not the refugees' fault, but it's the political fault that they told us uh, nothing before. The policemen, they asked, uh, we want to know who you are and uh, what your intentions are. I told them that I have the right of protest, and then they people met and take it on uh, Facebook. The officer told me he has to visit, uh, I think about it, he told me uh, four or five people for the same problem. Of well, frustration with the migrant crisis has been growing in the Netherlands over the past few months. In fact, last week, protests in the Dutch town of Hees against the construction of a new asylum centre descended into violent clashes with police. Anti-immigration campaigner Robin Tilbrook says that as irritation increases, the more the government tries to hush dissenting voices. Somebody who utters something that's sort of critical of what the authorities are wanting to do uh, is simply seen as being uh, a nuisance who needs to be silenced. Um, and it, it, it is, I think, very symptomatic of the approach of the authorities. It's completely undemocratic. Um, it, it, may, it may well be even illegal. It's certainly bullying of uh, people who are, are trying to simply express their uh, disquiet at what's happening, uh, that the majority of people did not want mass immigration. Um, but the establishment simply ignored that. 